The Embraer E-Jet family is a series of narrow-body medium-range twin-engine jet airliners produced by Brazilian aerospace conglomerate Embraer. Launched at the Paris Air Show in 1999, and entering production in 2002, the aircraft series has been a commercial success. The aircraft is used by both mainline and regional airlines around the world. As of December 31, 2013, there is a backlog of 279 firm orders for the E-Jets, 689 options and 998 units delivered. Design and Development The Embraer E-Jets line is composed of two main commercial families and a business jet variant. The smaller E-170 and E-175 make up the base model aircraft. The E-190 and E-195 are stretched versions, with different engines and larger wing horizontal stabilizer and landing gear structures. The 170 and 175 share 95% commonality, as do the 190 and 195. The two families share near 89% commonality, with identical fuselage cross-sections and avionics, featuring the Honeywell Primus Epic Electronic Flight Instrument System Suite. The E-Jets also have winglets to improve efficiency. All E-Jets use four abreast seating and have a double bubble design, which Embraer developed for its commercial passenger jets, that provides stand-up headroom. The E-190-195 series of aircraft have capacities similar to the initial versions of the McDonnell Douglas DC-9 and Boeing 737, which have always been considered mainline airliners. The E-Jets have jet engines that produce less noise which allows them to operate in airports that have strict noise restrictions, such as London City Airport. Embraer first disclosed that it was studying a new 70-seat aircraft, which it called the M170, in 1997, concurrently with announcing the development of its ERJ-135. The M170 was to feature a new wing and larger diameter fuselage mated to the nose and cockpit of the ERJ-145. In February 1999 Embraer announced it had abandoned the derivative approach in favor of an all-new design. The E-Jet family was formally launched at the Paris Air Show in June 1999. Launch customers for the aircraft were the French airline RA Copyright Guinel Compagnie or Copyright Ryan Europa Copyright N with 10 orders and 5 options for the E-170. And the Swiss airline Crossair with an order for 30 E-170s and 30 E-190s. Production of parts to build a prototype and test airframes began in July 2000. Full production began in 2002, at a new factory built by Embraer at its Zar Pound Ojosa Copyright DOS campus base. After several delays in the certification process, the E-170 received type certification from the Aviation Authorities of Brazil, Europe and the United States in February 2004. E-Jet Second Generation in November 2011, Embraer announced that it would develop revamped versions of the E-Jets family with improved engines, rather than an all-new aircraft. The new variants are to be powered by new more efficient engines with larger diameter fans, and include slightly taller landing gear, and possibly a new aluminum or carbon fiber-based wing. The new E-Jet variants are to be better positioned to compete with the Bombardier Xeris. The new variants are to enter service in 2018. GE, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce were all possible engine suppliers. Pratt & Whitney's geared turbofan engine was selected in January 2013 for the new E-Jets versions. The Honeywell Primus Epic II was selected as the avionics package. In February 2012, Embraer announced it was studying the development of a new variant with 130 seating capacity. The study was expected to be completed by the end of 2012. Operational history, the first E-170s were delivered in the second week of March 2004 to LOT Polish Airlines, followed by U.S. Airways subsidiary Mid-Atlantic Airways and Alitalia LOT operated the first commercial flight of an E-Jet on March 17, 2004, from Warsaw to Vienna. The largest single order for any type of E-Jets has come from JetBlue for 100 E-190s, and options for 100 more. The 400th E-Jet was delivered in 2008, to Republic Airlines in the U.S. On November 6 of that year, 
JetBlue set the record for the longest flight of the E-190 family when one of its aircraft made a non-stop flight from Anchorage, Alaska to Buffalo, New York, a total of 2,694 and me. This was an empty aircraft on a non-revenue flight. The aircraft eventually returned to JFK after a two-month-long charter service with vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. In September 2009 the 600th jet built was delivered to LOT Polish Airlines. Kenya Airways received its 12th jet from Embraer which was also the 900th jet ever produced on October 10, 2012. On September 13, 2013 a ceremony was held at the Embraer factory in Zao Pound Ojoza Copyright DOS campus to mark the delivery of the 1000th E-Jet family aircraft, an E-175, to Republic Airlines. The E-175 was delivered in an American Eagle color scheme with a special 1000th E-Jet decal above the cabin windows. Variants E-170 and 175 the E-170 E-175 models in the 80-seat range are the smaller in the E-Jet family. They are powered with General Electric CF-34-8E engines of 14,200 pounds thrust each. The E-170 E-170 and E-175 directly compete with the Bombardier CRJ-700 and Bombardier CRJ-900, respectively, and loosely compete with the turboprop Bombardier Q-400. They also seek to replace the market segment occupied by earlier competing designs such as the Ballard 146 and Fokker 70. The Embraer 170 was the first version produced. The prototype 170-001, registration PPXJE, was rolled out on October 29, 2001, with first flight 119 days later on February 19, 2002. The aircraft was displayed to the public in May 2002 at the Regional Airline Association Convention. After a positive response from the airline community, Embraer launched the E-175. First flight of the stretched E-175 was on June 2003. The launch U.S. customer for the M-170 was U.S. Airways, after FAA certification. The aircraft entered into revenue service on April 4, 2004 operated by the Mid-Atlantic Division of U.S. Airways, Inc. The first E-175 was delivered to Air Canada and entered service in July 2005. The 170-001 prototype performed its last flight on April 11, 2012. Its destiny was disassembly in the U.S. for spare parts. E-190 and 195 the E-190-195 models are a larger stretch of the E-170-175 models fitted with a new, larger wing, larger horizontal stabilizer and a new engine, the GECF 34-10E, rated at 18,500 LB. These aircraft compete with the Bombardier CRJ-1000 and CS-100. The Boeing 717-200 and 737-600, and the Airbus A318. The first flight of the E-190 was on March 12, 2004, with the first flight of the E-195 on December 7 of the same year. The launch customer of the E-190 was New York-based low-cost carrier JetBlue with 100 orders and 100 options. British low-cost carrier Flybe launched the E-195 with 14 orders and 12 options. As the 190-195 models are of mainline aircraft size, many airlines operate them as such, fitting them with a business class section and operating them themselves, instead of having them flown by a regional airline partner. For example, Air Canada operates 45E-190 aircraft fitted with 9 business class and 88 economy class seats as part of its primary fleet. JetBlue and US Airways also operate the E-190 as part of their own fleet thus allowing airlines increased crewing flexibility by having the ability of air crews to work aboard narrowbody or widebody aircraft all the same. Embraer Lineage 1000 On May 2, 2006, Embraer announced plans for the business jet variant of the E-190. This would have the same structure as the E-190, but with an extended range of up to 4,200 ANM, and luxury seating for up to 19. It was certified by the USA Federal Aviation Administration on January 7, 2009. 
The first two production aircraft were delivered in December 2008. Undeveloped variants, E-195X, Embraer considered producing an aircraft which was known as the E-195X, a stretched version of the E-195. It would have seated approximately 130 passengers. The E-195X was apparently a response to an American Airlines request for an aircraft to replace its McDonnell Douglas MD-80s. Embraer abandoned plans for the 195X in May 2010, following concerns that its range would be too short. Operators Embraer 170 a Euro as of July 2011 180 Embraer 170 aircraft are in airline service, with eight orders. Major operators include, Republic Airlines, Shuttle America, Saudia, Egypt Air Express, LOT Polish Airlines and BA City Flyer. About 15 airlines operate the type in smaller numbers. Embraer 175 a Euro as of July 2011. 136 Embraer 175 aircraft are in airline service, with 53 further orders. Major operators include Sky Regional Airlines, Flybe, Kenya Airways, Alitalia City Liner and LOT Polish Airlines. Major firm orders include 54 aircraft for Republic Airlines, and 36 aircraft for Compass Airlines a subsidiary of the privately held Trans States Holdings. Flybe, the British airline, ordered 35 Embraer 175 with options for an extra 60 and purchase rights for 40 more at the 2010 Farnborough Air Show. Embraer 190 Euro as of July 2011, 349 Embraer 190 aircraft are in airline service, with 170 orders. Operators include Air Astana with two aircraft in operation and six more in order, Air Canada with 45 aircraft, JetBlue Airways with 47 aircraft, Copa Airlines with 26, KLM City Hopper, Aroma Copyright Zico Connect, Virgin Australia, BA City Flyer, Azul Brazilian Airlines, TRIP Linus or Copyright Rees, Lufthansa City Line, Bulgaria Air, Borajet, Montenegro Airlines and NAS Air. Other orders include 32 aircraft for US Airways and 22 for Australunis or Copyright Rees. Embraer 195 a Euro as of July 2011, 75 Embraer 195 aircraft are in service in 30 firm orders. Major operators are Azul Brazilian Airlines, Flybe, Lufthansa City Line, Air Europa, Air Dolomiti, Montenegro Airlines. Azul Brazilian Airlines have ordered an additional 41 aircraft of this type. Orders and deliveries, list of Embraer's e-jet family deliveries and orders. Source Embraer's order book on June 30, 2014. Accidents and Incidents, on August 24, 2010, Heenan Airlines Flight 8387, an Embraer E-190 that departed from Harbin, People's Republic of China, crash-landed about 1 km short of the runway at Ishan Lindu Airport, resulting in 42 deaths. November 29, 2013, Lam Mozambique Airlines Flight 470. An Embraer 190, crashed in Namibia, killing all 33 aboard. The co-pilot reportedly left the cockpit to use the toilet. He was then locked up by the captain, who dramatically reduced the aircraft to Euro unregistered trademark S altitude and ignored various automated warnings ahead of the high-speed impact. Specifications, sources, Embraer E-Jet, see also. Comparison of commercial aircraft, related development. Embraer Regional Jet, Embraer Lineage 1000, Embraer KC390, Embraer E-Jet E2 Family, Aircraft of Comparable Role, Configuration and Era, Airbus A318, Antonov 148, Boeing 717, Boeing 737-600, Bombardier CRJ700 Series, Bombardier Xeris, Comac ARJ21, Fokker 70-100. Mitsubishi MRJ 70 slash MRJ 90, Sukhoi Superjet 100, two Polov to 334, related lists, list of civil aircraft, list of active Brazilian military aircraft, references. Enders, GAR 1 quarter NTER. The Illustrated Directory of Modern Commercial Aircraft. London, Salamander Books. 
ISBN A 978-1840652871A, Kingsley Jones, Max. Wastenage, Justin. World Airliners, Regional Realities. Flight International 160, 38-Euro 62-A, Lewis, Paul. New by Design. Flight International 160, 34 a Euro 36 a external links, Embraer E-Jets, airliners.net, Embraer E-170190 195ths.